I have a confession. It may be that my favorite travel destination is someplace really off the beaten tourist track, like Estonia, the small Baltic Republic. And if you really want bargain rates to go along with the charm, visit Estonia or some other undiscovered treasure in the off-season. In Tallinn, the capital, you'll find one of the travel industry's best-kept secrets, a medieval city wrapped in an ultra-modern economic boomtown that is making other European cities drool with envy. Estonia, this former Soviet satellite is often called, thanks to cutting-edge choices made after the fall of the Iron Curtain. A native of Poland who emigrated to America as a teenager, Dr. Aldona Voss is the United States ambassador to Estonia. And one of the ways they chose is information technology and banking. And so for Americans, it's a little bit unusual to see that because the Estonian does not know what a check is. They never lived with checks. 90% of the Estonians do their banking online. And 80% of Estonians pay their taxes with so-called e-tax forms. But Andris Antsip, the Western-educated prime minister of Estonia, is particularly proud of his heritage. This uh, old part of Tallinn is, is uh, uh, also listed on uh, uh, UNESCO uh, heritage uh, uh, list, and, and uh, that's why uh, our uh, old part of Tallinn is, is also very popular uh, for tourist destination. How does Estonia stack up in terms of safety? Uh, Estonia is a very safe place, and uh, uh, we don't have uh, big problems with crime here in Estonia. It's, uh, probably like in Finland and in Sweden, and uh, uh, we're happy to, to live here, and, and uh, I think uh, tourists, uh, they are also happy and, and, and satisfied with visiting Estonia. Now, you don't have to go abroad to have a simple yet rich travel experience. These days, big spending domestic travel is not the only game in town. More and more of us are making short, inexpensive getaways to intriguing places close to home, like the Bottle House in Carroll County, Virginia. That old saying about never seeing the sights in your own backyard? Well, it's time to change that, as I did recently by visiting the graves of the original Siamese twins just a few miles from where I live in North Carolina. And paying a visit to our regional museum of history, Museums, like cemeteries, make stimulating and inexpensive destinations for day trips. And don't forget the state and national parks that aren't too far from home. Once you get there, it's as if you've been traveling there for weeks. You're in another world, seemingly thousands of miles from home. There's always some treasure close by. My gosh, if you live in Iowa, have you visited this glorious covered bridge? And if you live near a college or university, why not climb a ladder to that other world of concerts, lectures, theater, often at little or no cost?